Hello, my name is Kenzie Sims and welcome to a brand new speed build in The Sims 3. This house is called Kennedy Drive and it's called that because this is the lot, it's built on the lot that um, the Kennedy household live on. But I bulldozed that house and started again. <laughs> so we've made this four bedroom, two bathroom house and the bonus rooms are a gym, a playroom, and a garage, and a laundry room, and it did have a pantry, but then I realised it needed an extra bathroom because there was only one bathroom originally, so I got rid of the little pantry, but you will see me build it, but I got rid of it off camera and kind of just changed it to a bathroom, so yeah, if you wonder where the pantry went when you uh, download the house, if you download the house, please do, link in description. Um, that's where it's gone. So, this house has a lot of CC in it. So, there she is. Little, um, what's her name? Someone Kennedy. Oh my god, what's her name? I don't know. But anyway, there she is. And um, she's my little tester sim for this house. But yeah, anyway, this house has a lot of CC. Um, a lot of... Um, I was going to say CC patterns, but that's not right. I'm just thinking of the wallpaper. It's got CC wallpaper. It's got a uh, quite, it's very, very detailed, this house. Like I wanted to make it really, really detailed and I wanted to make sure it was completely finished, completely, you know, furnished and everything because not many of my recent builds are completely furnished, but I'm trying to get better at it. So yeah, this house is fully, fully furnished. Love it so much. I really love um, the exterior wallpaper. Don't ask me why, I just do. Um, really random thing to love about the house, but it's like the outside of, my, of this house is probably my favorite. Um, the actual look of the house, um, the wallpapers, window placement everything like i think it's just it looks great and i put quite a lot of detail on the exterior of the house um i do on most of my houses anyway and it's normally the inside of the house that's not furnished or something or it's half furnished or there's just like a few placeholder items but um no this house is fully fully detailed and furnished and um the floor plan's quite cool as well I mean, considering it's quite a small-ish looking house, the f there is quite a few rooms. So downstairs, um, you go in, you've got the hallway, to the left is the dining room, to the right is the gym, then um, on the right again, if you walk a bit further up, there's the playroom, and then straight ahead is the living room, and then to the left is the kitchen, bathroom, and um, laundry room. And to get to the garage or from the garage into the house, which Sims don't do, but I just like to make it realistic. I don't like to make garages, you know, just pop on the side of the house and then there isn't a door to the house. Because in real life, there's normally a door, you know, from your garage into your house instead of having to like walk out of the garage door and up through the front door. I've never seen any houses like that actually, where you have, where there's no door. I'm sure there's one at least in the world that's like that, or probably many. But um, yeah, I was just trying to make it as realistic as possible. And um, I always like to put my garages off like the side where the kitchen is. Don't ask me why, I just feel like that's where it should go in my mind. I feel like it'd be weird if you had a door from your garage going into your living room or your dining room or something, which I'm sure, again, it has, it, it probably is a thing somewhere in the world, but yeah that's just my thoughts on it. Um, I tried to make the back slightly detailed as well by just putting that little roof thing there, otherwise it would have been very flat behind there. And I'm not a big fan of just flat walls. I try to make, um, well, I don't mind the side of the house being just one big flat wall because that's what it is uh, on the right hand side if you're looking at it this way. Um, that's like one massive flat wall, but that's not really where you see. But when your sims are in the garden or when you're, you know, you've turned the screen round, uh, not the screen round, you've, you know what I mean, <laughs> when, when you're looking at the back of the house, when you're sitting like this way, like that, um, I like 
for my viewers or whoever is playing in the house, even if I'm playing in the house. I like there to be a bit of detail on the back, not just like a flat wall. I mean, it's flatter than the front of the house, but you know, what can we do? I try not to put too much, um, too many like jut outs either. So like, you know, bump outs or whatever, cause it just, it's overkill then, isn't it? Yeah, I just like to have a happy, like medium, like a nice balance. <laughs> But here is the wallpaper that I really, really love. I was struggling whether to do like a, um, a grey, a green or a blue. And I think I settled on the blue. Um, see the green, it's gorgeous. But I like, I love the look of greenhouses, but I don't like how green it looks, you know, because there's trees, there's the shrubbery, there's the grass, like, and then there's a greenhouse. Sometimes I feel like it's a bit too green. So yeah, I decided to go with blue. And I love putting these little, always forget the name of those, corner pieces that just kind of finish off the wallpaper. There is a name for them. I don't know if it's, I want to say Ballard or Ballard or Pollard. I can't, not Pollard, not Vicky Pollard. <laughs> if anyone watch it, watched Little Britain years ago, then you'll know who Vicky Pollard is. The biggest chav in town. Anyway, random. <laughs> Moving on. Um, what was I going to say? I was gonna, I had something in my mind to talk about them, but it's literally gone, but never mind. <laughs> I'm just chatting shit as usual. But yeah, um, I hope you are enjoying having a few more speed builds lately. I mean, the last time I posted one was, was it like, kind of in, probably about like a month ago, Cartel Cottage, was that a month ago? I don't flipping know, but um, I've been very on and off with my channel very recently and I've finally got the spark back so I'm really happy about that and yeah loving the sims again had a quite a long time where I was just like I didn't even want to turn my computer and I had a whole week where I didn't even touch my computer where normally I'd uh, I wouldn't touch it but normally I'd turn it on at least you know once or twice a week but yeah I had a whole two weeks span where I didn't touch it um and that's very unlike me but I, I literally had withdrawals though like I was so um I was missing it so much and but I just couldn't get myself to turn it on and like I had nothing that I wanted to do on it as much as I was craving playing the sims of some sort or building or something um I was just kind of opening my game and staring at the map view and kind of scrolling around thinking mm, what shall I do where what shall I click on where shall I go and um a few times I just kind of scrolled around the map view and then I literally turned my computer back off again <laughs> so yeah it's I don't know what, I don't know what was going on I wasn't doing great mentally so I think that's probably what it kind of was I was very uh anxious and worried about things don't know what but sometimes I just have bad months where I, I am and then um, that's when you start seeing my channel either not have any videos or my videos get privated uh, or I'm like I need a break but you know we all need a break so it's fine I'm back now and I'm feeling a lot better not 100% but a lot better so yeah that's good so we're just onto the landscaping now I tried to make it as neat as possible and as again as detailed as possible loving the detail and the realism on my houses recently instead of doing like a really big um cartoony looking house i really am trying to well i'm not trying like i'm not trying too hard like I, i'm enjoying doing what i'm doing but i'm i just really like my style of building right at this moment is very realistic like ultra realistic so that you'll see a few things that i'll put um hopefully soon on the outside of this house uh such as like that are quite realistic such as like telephone pylons um i put a like camera security camera on the front of the house a lot of the cc is actually not cc i've downloaded but i downloaded a world rosewood park by Gruesome or Sketchbook Pixels, I think they're the same people. Gruesome is uh, 
one of the girls' YouTube channels, Sketchbook Pixels. I'm guessing it's a group of people. I don't really know. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just her. But um, Rosewood Park, gorgeous, gorgeous world. Absolutely love it so, so much. And that's what um, all my CC basically came from. So it comes with a massive CC folder and just so much realistic stuff. And you'll see load of stuff inside the house as well as outside the house um and yeah i just i'm just loving it really love it and i really think that gruesome and gruesome's videos of her like showing us around all of the worlds not just rosewood park all of them it's so ultra realistic it really made really inspired me to then start building like that um and the first time i actually watched one of her videos was probably a good year or two ago but I was also kind of torn between do I want to keep my channel consistent and do the go down the cartoony route uh, or do I want to change to this new type of style this realistic style that I really really love and I was, yeah, I was kind of torn because I was like I want you guys to enjoy it but also um, because you've you've always enjoyed my like bright colorful cartoony builds um, or do I kind of just follow my heart <laughs> and do what I want to do? So that's been a bit of a struggle as well. I've been really indecisive and not knowing what to do because I don't want to dis any disappoint anybody. Um, but I'm, I just want to kind of do what I want to do at the same time. But sometimes I'm like, no, I can't do what I want to do. I need to do what the viewers want to see. Um, and that's down to like some comments I get like, oh, I miss you doing this and I miss you doing that. And, um, like I understand you, some of you might miss the old style of videos that I used to do, um, but I think you need to realise as well that I have grown up a hell of a lot, like I'm 31 now, when I started my channel six, seven years ago, I was probably like 24 or something, 25, um, and I've grown mentally as well as physically, you know, um, and uh, I don't know, I'm just into different things because I'm older and I, I don't know you just you, you change over time don't you so um I know you'll probably most of you'll probably watch anything I will put out anyway but yeah that was just I'm just talking I'm just telling you like that's kind of the struggle I was going through um for probably a good two years and oh trying to get out of that mindset still get myself in that mindset sometimes but trying to get out of it trying to stay away anyway we're on to the inside of the house and I made it quite modern this house is very very modern actually for a suburban like family home um i used to love again i've changed my style again i used to love like quite traditional homes but now i am going for more modern and i don't know i just kind of want i don't want to build in the style everyone else builds in and i don't want to build in the style the sims 3 you know ea people built in I want to make it like my own and just more modern and more updated and stuff like that because uh sunset valley which is where this is built in not that this is going in a safe file or anything i mean it might i don't know we'll see it might it might not probably not <laughs> but um sunset valley it's very very old-fashioned all of the worlds are i suppose even the newer worlds they are quite old-fashioned so i don't know i just like to change it up a bit and kind of bring out videos that I suppose actually look like they have come out in 2023 and not 2016 because <laughs> uh, a lot of people seem to still do the same style of builds but I'm really trying to just be different I get my inspiration from like Pinterest Google and um, sometimes very rarely but sometimes like uh, Zoopla or what's the other one the, you know the estate agent websites Instagram as well and yeah um, a lot of the rooms in this house were heavily inspired by Pinterest like posts or boards or pictures or whatever um, if you want to down not download if you want to follow my Pinterest link is in the description down below um, I was just thinking that maybe you could see I might pin some of the pictures that I used on interest like on interest on Pinterest um yeah I might pin the, 
the pictures I was inspired by or that inspired this build because I didn't copy the builds but I kind of got as much inspiration as I could from uh, from Pinterest. I, yeah, I try not to copy, I just try and make it my own. But uh, gosh, I just realised this video is a very long video and I've got not much to talk about but um, I'm going to have to try and talk about it. We're only on, we're not even like inside furnishing yet and I feel like I've been talking forever but never mind. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go on to, I suppose, what I've been up to since I haven't spoke to you for a long, long time. Uh, so I've been, I went to Gay Pride. That was fun. <laughs> Me and my girlfriend went. Haven't been for years. Um, but it was really nice because I met up with a f friend who I haven't seen for years. So it was really nice to see her and um, hung out with her friends and stuff. And then um, something... Oh, excuse me. Oh, sorry, I hope I didn't make you, you yawn. But um, then I actually reconnected with another couple of friends as well, which was really, really nice. Um, it was, yeah, I'm not going to go into it, but basically stopped talking to a few people because of certain reasons. And then um, they actually came up to me and started speaking to me. And now we're... Well, not now we're friends again. We're, we're we're chatting again, and it's really nice to have more friends in my life because I've actually been feeling quite lonely the past couple of years because um, I lost quite a few friends due to a breakup and yada yada yada. But we don't want to talk about that. We don't care. <laughs> but yeah, um, I lost quite a few friends. Like I'm saying, quite a few. Like it was a lot. Like forty plus friends um because of whatever happened and it's nice to finally get back the ones who I was like really close to so yeah it was nice to bump into them and um yeah hopefully we can meet up a bit more now so that'll be good so I went to Pride um what else have I done I had my birthday back in May <laughs> ages ago but um I didn't don't think I've spoke about it so basically I went to this restaurant because uh, which was called Shogun. Um, I hope I haven't mentioned this actually. Now I'm thinking, have I mentioned it? Anyway, you, I'll tell you again. So this, um, it's like a te teppanyaki grill place. You know, like the teppanyaki grill set um, on the Sims 3 store where they like do toss the food or, up in front of you and it goes on fire and stuff. Went to one of them. Um, my girlfriend booked it for me... Uh, my mum and dad and herself obviously and it was so so nice oh the food was amazing and it was so entertaining and um the man got me up sang happy birthday with me and then got me to like shoot a eggshell into a hole and stuff <laughs> really random but it was it was really fun and um I enjoyed it and it's yeah it was it's just really nice and oh, the food though the food was amazing I had sushi I had noodles I had uh, rice steak and chicken and I think there was shrimp as well but I'm not a massive fan of, of like shrimp really and I have to be like really in the mood for it I can't can't eat shrimp or you know stuff like that when it's not battered if I can see like the veins I can't eat it at all <laughs> I don't like it at all um, but when it's battered it's so nice so I had actually we had battered shrimp or battered, I can't remember the name of it, it's not shrimp, it's bigger than shrimp, but anyway, or oh, is shrimp the bigger one? I think it's battered shrimp, anyway, had that in batter, that was flipping amazing, so fresh, so nice, but then I had like shrimp without the batter on, um, on a different part of the meal, couldn't eat it, I was like, nope, <laughs> it's really weird, but as long as I can't see the shrimp or the veins or the prawns or whatever, then I'm fine, but yeah, did that, what else have I done? Oh, that day as well. Um, my girlfriend, just me and her, um, my girlfriend took me to an axe throwing place. That was really fun. So you have to throw the axes at like targets and stuff. And it's it really kills your arm, to be fair, but it was fun. That place also had like pool tables. We played pool and also shuffleboard. That's another game that's in The Sims 3. I feel like it's a very American game, um, but it was it was really fun. It was such a nice day. And uh, I really enjoyed myself. So yeah, that's what I did to celebrate my 31st. Um, and I had two alcoholic drinks. I don't normally drink alcohol. It does not 
do me any good at all even one drink will make me feel horrible but um you know you get the beer fear the anxiousness there's i just get instant sickness instant headache but that day i was all right um because i ate a load of food from the um the shogun place but yeah um yeah it was really really nice but at the end of the day like after the after we played the games and went for the food i was ready to get back home and into bed <laughs> so that was yeah it was really really nice um there's something else i was gonna say that i did as well i know it's gone out of my head oh the other day i went to the harvester and which day was that so i'm recording this today which is the day you're gonna see it which is saturday the first oh my god it's the first today first of july i went to I think it was Wednesday, so the 28th of June, I went to the Harvester. Um, you'll know the Harvester if you live in the UK. And um, I have given up caffeine. I don't drink caffeinated tea or coffee or anything. I don't drink caffeinated pop, nothing like that. Because again, messes with my heart, my heart races, my anxiety goes mad. Um, stupidly, I drank two pints of Pepsi with my food. <laughs> And just, it just, I don't know why, it completely slipped my mind that Pepsi has caffeine in it. Like, it wasn't uh, Pepsi Zero or Pepsi Max or anything. It was literally full fat Pepsi. Oh my gosh. Thursday. I was an anxious mess. It was horrible. My heart was racing. Um, couldn't eat. When I went home that night, after the harvester, you know, I have work the next day. But I could not get to sleep. Well, I went to sleep for like an hour, less than an hour actually. Because I went to bed at like... I think it was like 11 and then I woke up no no sorry I went to bed at 10 I think woke up just before 11 and I was wide awake all night like the caffeine was keeping me up all night and then obviously well and then it took me like another two hours to get back to sleep so I probably get back to sleep till like one two in the morning and then um I woke up really knackered my whole body had no energy uh, my heart was racing and after probably it got to two o'clock in the afternoon when I was at work the caffeine finally like got out my system it must have and um yeah I felt great like I was still really tired but like I felt great but I was tired because I obviously lost like three hours of sleep because I, I woke up oh it's a nightmare so I just really need to stop drinking caffeine uh or remember that you know pop some pop does have caffeine in because that was awful, like, oh, thought I was going to die, really did, it was horrible, but anyway, look how gorgeous this living room is, I love it so much, so modern, so different to what I normally do, and um, I'm really loving, like, the darker colours, that's, like, my favourite colour scheme at the moment, it's just, like, the dark blues, the dark greens, the dark, even the dark purples and stuff, but it has to be quite a muted colour. It can't be like dark. Um, how do I explain this? Like dark, bright. <laughs> it can't be a dark, bright colour. You know, it, it, more like navies and like emerald greens. Not like dark. I can't explain. Like, I can't explain what I mean. But yeah, um, very muted but dark colours is my thing. And then... To make it look modern, I always seem to make everything black and grey and white, but I don't know, I just I just think it looks so, so nice. Um, definitely one of my favourite rooms in this house. I think this might be my favourite room in this house, actually. I do love the gym as well, and I do actually really like the playroom. It's very, well, it's, it's on brand. It's very lilac and purple colours, and it's gorgeous. And yeah, I really, really like it. Um, but the living room definitely is, oh, and the bedroom, actually, the master bedroom is another, those two are, like, my favourite rooms of this house. I think it's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love it so much. Um, what was I going to say? Hmm, I'm not too sure. I haven't really been doing much since I've, I mean, considering I've not been on YouTube really for, I haven't really, haven't really uploaded a speed build for like a month or so um not really much has gone on in this month i went to a wedding that was really nice um it's nice to dress up 
but I didn't um, didn't drink. I had a bit of a dance. Obviously, I don't drink anyway. But at the end of the night, I was so knackered. <laughs> um, I had a cup of decaffeinated tea, so that was good. <laughs> That's how like old I am. Nah, I'm not old. Like I'm um, thirty one. Keep telling you this, and when like. I keep having friends or random people saying like, oh, you don't drink, that's so boring, like, you're such a grandma, and I'm like, yeah, I am, and I'm proud, but, like, it, why does it make me a grandma because I don't drink? Like, I don't drink because it makes me feel like absolute shit more than it would make, like, anyone that doesn't, doesn't have mental, you know, issues, um, would feel. Like, I used to be, I used to go out drinking, like, four times a week, it's ridiculous. Like, I was, a bad binge drinker actually um and now to be like pretty much teetotal it's it's a mad world um i seem to feel my emotions and stuff more that's probably why like my anxiety is quite bad um i mean i don't want to diagnose myself um and say that i've actually got anxiety but i know i've got i know i get anxious and worried about things and my heart races and stuff but anyway, um, yeah, I used to be fine, like, you know, from the age of 18 to, like, 25, I used to drink, like, mad, um, I'd, I'd drink until I was probably about 28 anyway, um, but it started affecting me more after that, and then now, oh my gosh, one sip of an alcoholic beverage or a caffeinated beverage, and I'm just, like, on edge <laughs> for a week, it's horrible, not worth it at all, so yeah, but people say to me, like, um, oh, you're so boring, like, you don't drink and that. I'm not boring. I can still have a good time. I can still dance and have fun and go out and, you know, whatever, without a drink. Um, and, like, I never used to think I could do that. I used to think, oh, and I like, I used to be that person and be like, if someone doesn't drink, oh, you're boring. Come on, let's have a drink. Because I used to, like, back them off, like like nobody's business it wasn't it wasn't cool <laughs> but the next day I wouldn't really have much of a hangover so I'd feel like it would be okay uh but now poof like I said one drink I'll get a hangover I'll get a um what's the word that you call it there's something to do oh hangxiety yeah definitely get that beer fear and all that awful I'm like what did I say last night? What did I do? What did I look like? Like, was I dancing like all embarrassing? What did people think? All those questions will go through my mind <laughs> when I've had a drink the, the night before. But um, now, now I'm like older. Like, my friends don't really drink that much either because we are, um, I don't know, you just kind of grow out of it, don't you? Like, we're just in our 30s now and it's actually, do you know, I was always so scared to get to my 30s, I thought, oh, I'd be so, like, I, I don't want to be 30, I don't want to, like, I want to stay at 25 or even 21, um, or just in my 20s, because I think, oh, once you get to 30, that's it, your life's over, it's not, like, my life has only just begun, it sounds really cliche, <laughs> but my life has, like, I'm the happiest I've ever been, um, apart from the ang anxiousness, that's, I'm not happy when I'm anxious, <laughs> but you know what I mean, like, I'm genuinely content with my life, and, like, I wake up every morning fresh, feels great, my weekends don't feel wasted anymore, like, I'm not going out Friday night, spending all day Saturday in bed, you know, wasting the day, because I'm hungover, and then going out Saturday night, wasting all Sunday in bed, and then Monday back to work, like, I don't do that anymore, like, I can fully, like, enjoy my weekends, and it's so nice, um, but, like, I could still go out if I wanted to, I I'm not a big fan of going out anymore, but I still, I could go out, you know, on a Friday night and a Saturday night, and still, like, the only thing I'd feel the next day is if, if I was out late was, is just tiredness, but, um, it's just so nice, and, you know, my whole life is kind of, like, I'm settling down and stuff, got my own house, girlfriend and stuff, thinking about having babies, like, you know, it's just really nice to be in a, um, just a content, set, like, just content with your life, <laughs> it's really, really nice, and, um, you've got all your, you know, your loyal people around you, because by the time you, like, hit thir your 30s and that, um, 
you've pretty much got your friends for life then. Um, f you know, you'll have so many friends come and go in your 20s. I had, like I said, probably hundreds to be firm. Hundreds of friends. One minute I'm best friends with them. Next minute we fall out or you just lose contact or, you know, some people get in relationships and then don't speak to their friends anymore. And, uh, but there's always like that handful of people out of those hundreds of people that will stick you know around forever and then then you start like instead of seeing your friends every weekend you start seeing your friends like once a month once every two months once every three months but like I'm okay with that like now I'm older I enjoy my own company and um, I've got my girlfriend as well and obviously I see my family and my girlfriend's family and stuff so there's always people around but um I really enjoy having time to myself on my own um and uh yeah just doing my own thing like I'll play the sims or I'll go shopping or you know clothes shopping or something um what else do I do when I'm on my own go on the sunbeds go get my nails done you know like I like I don't always love my own company like I get bored and lonely quite well probably Quicker than my girlfriend does anyway. My girlfriend, like, she could spend all week on her own and she'd be fine. But then again, like, after a week, she'd probably be like, okay, I need, to, need to, some socialising going on. Um, but, um, yeah, it's really, I don't know, it's just really nice. It's nice to be content and you all settled down and stuff. Here's me just testing, make sure, um, what's her name, Kennedy, can get past those chairs. Because that dining room looked really, really small. Oh, I'm getting rid of that into the future crap as well. Um, do you know what? So we went into the future, um, and I'm going to bring Supernatural up as well. I, I'm really thinking of maybe removing those two out of my game, because the only thing I use... Okay, there's an interview Into the Future chair, not that one, the other one that I've just pulled out. But the only thing I really use is, like, the build buy stuff from there. I'll never play Supernatural and I'll never play Into the Future and I'm thinking if I take those two expansion packs out will my game run smoother? I don't know, we'll see but like, that's one thought I had I might do it, I might not <laughs> I probably won't because I do like some of the furniture and the windows and that But uh, and I have paid for them so it's another reason but uh, yeah I just, I don't know I was, that's what I was thinking about the other day thinking maybe I should take some out and my game could be like, I'd, I'd rather take, you know, one or two expansion packs out that I'm not enjoying and then make more room for CC because right now I'm loving CC and you'll see in a minute um, how much CC will actually even go into this dining room. So after this, I remember thinking, I don't like this chair and table set. Um, like, it looks okay, but I, I wasn't keen on it. I found a picture on Pinterest or something that I wanted to make the dining room look like and we didn't have any chairs or anything that made it look <laughs> decent. So after this clip... I actually went off and downloaded a load of uh, Dining Room CC from Mod The Sims, I think, or The Sims Resource. I think uh, Sims Resource, that's where it was from. Because all this, like, you'll see me going back and forth, doing, like, putting pictures here, plants down, and I was just like, I just wasn't feeling it. Like, I was trying to make it as modern as possible, and it just was looking like every other EA house that people have built. So I was like, no, not dealing with this. I'm going to go off and I'm going to come back and I'm going to um, basically download a load of really nice CC. So, so at the end, um, well, when I come back, you'll see how much nicer this dining room turned out because of the CC. Like, CC creators, they're like angels. Like, it's, it's mad how they've made all this stuff and it's completely free and it's better than, like the furniture you get in the game that, that you've had to pay for like it's crazy and you know they just give it you for free it's like what <laughs> i mean some cc i'd probably i'd probably happy happily pay for some um you know if it's really really nice stuff but you know i'll happily take it for free <laughs> it's fine but it is it is mad isn't it how like people have spent so much time like creating all this stuff and you can just download it for free like it's amazing love it so much sorry if you noticed a bit of a cut there i had to pause because um i got a message <laughs> oh my gosh sorry if that was very loud i'm sure it was but look how nice this cc is we're back now with the cc and it's bloody gorgeous i flipping love it and it just makes such a big big difference to um 
your builds like this this is what i live for this is what you know brings back the motivation and the passion for the sims it's it's just when everything kind of goes perfectly in my mind um and yeah cc definitely helps with that i really wanted to use that round table but it was massive but look, oh, look how gorgeous look how gorgeous those chairs are um i don't know who they're actually by unfortunately because i kind of just go on to the sims resource type in like dining chair and then i'll just kind of open up loads of tabs um with the dining chairs that i kind of like from the thumbnail and then i'll go through again once i've gone through like pretty much all the pages um and then i'll go through each tab seeing which one i actually really like you know close up and zoomed in um and then um i excuse me <laughs> my throat made a weird noise then i um yeah get rid of the tabs that i don't I'm not into anymore and then i'm normally left with like five to ten tabs open and then i have to choose which ones out of them that i actually really like and i realize that most of them kind of look quite similar but i just kind of download the ones that i really um think i don't know look more like more ea matching maxis matching instead of like some cc can be ultra realistic and it's like too realistic for the game i still like it to blend in with the game so these chairs were the best ones these like because i wanted the curved back chairs basically um and there was many on there that looked a bit too realistic like when they're a bit too thin like the legs are really thin and the backs you see how quite thick they are when the backs are quite thin um i feel like it looks um what's the word just too realistic and i'm not a big fan so yeah a bit more maxis match even though i like the realism um i hope that makes sense <laughs> sounds like i'm completely contradicting myself but never mind um love that color is that the color i stick with it must be because the rug that color and the pictures that color and um, made sure I put radiators in every room because again realism oh another cc item that i really want to get is some like light switches and some um sockets to go on the walls because i just feel like we really i really need um that type of realism uh you'll see on the front door as well there's a doorbell i'm not sure if i put a house number but i'd like to just put in tiny little details like that things that you would have you know in your real life house but isn't too realistic and still a little bit ea um maxis match <laughs> god i really do contra contradict myself a lot but i suppose it's it's not alpha it's not maxis match it's like in the middle that i like that probably explains it a bit more but what is that called in the middle i don't bloody know sorry if you can hear my chair squeaking it's uh it's she's an old gal all the leather's ripping off it well pleather because it's not real leather um not big fan of real leather i'd rather have fake leather because save the animals and all that anyway onto this bedroom and it's bloody gorgeous i really love it again going for the dark colors the dark greens um and the black um furniture pretty much pretty much most of the bedrooms furniture in all these rooms are like black really apart from the boys room which is what i do after this room but anyway uh there was something i was gonna talk about and it's gone out of my flipping head oh yes so um i have been remaking my uh like youtube thumbnails so make sure to go and have a look if you want to you don't have to but um yeah i've i have um tried to make them all match a little bit so with the speed builds you're only gonna have just the normal picture of the builds that's that i've built in that video um but like the thumbnails that are um oh my god i can't talk what's going on <laughs> the thumbnails for like 
mod reviews or um, when I've done builds in parts like you know the base game only build I've done part one two and three I've done a nice little thumbnail for that um, a Sunset Valley save file updates I've done a nice video for that and they're all matching they're all they're all got the same lilac on it um, and they all have the same font on them because I just want all of the videos when you scroll through um, my channel to all you know look like they come from my channel and I want you to be able to recognize it so if a video pops up um, somewhere I, I you recommended like I want you to rem like know that that is Kenzie Sims video I can tell by the font and the coloring and stuff so yeah right sorry guys I'm really struggling with this um, voiceover <laughs> not done one in so long and it's this video probably is not the best video to um, because it's because the video is so long it's probably not the best one to come back and voice over because I literally like I feel like I've spoke about everything and I still like I'm running out of stuff to say but oh well so this bedroom this is the like little boys room I thought it was really cute I was trying to go for like a jungle themed um, bedroom because again saw an idea on Pinterest but I realized in these themed patterns we don't have like like this is the most junglist thing that I could find but it also has palm trees so maybe it's not even jungle um, themed but I saw on Pinterest like a bed cover with like lions on and stuff like that and I thought I don't know why I thought I swore that we had that kind of thing in this game but obviously not but anyway I tried to make it a bit more jungly by putting these little wall art things up so we've got that giraffe and elephant and this picture of the giraffe uh, the giraffes sorry and uh, I think that's pretty much all oh I put a giraffe teddy bear yeah there you go on the desk just trying to do as much as I could to make it look a bit more jungle themed but this is probably another thing um, that I need to download off my, not mother sims the sims resource you know some cc for uh kids bedrooms but like i actually hate doing bedrooms that's when i normally am either forcing myself to or like like i just don't enjoy it like i enjoy doing the downstairs of houses and stuff when it gets to the bedrooms i'm like oh how do i let's say if it's like a four bedroom house or a five or six bedroom house like how do you make each bedroom different like it, you, it's the same room but you have to decorate them different so I always find it really hard so maybe my problem is I don't have enough CC or enough stuff in the game and I don't have stuff packs at the moment so I don't really you know I don't have master master sweet stuff or anything like that um, so I really need to buy those stuff packs actually um, because of the EA app and all that you know I think I've mentioned it a million times um, you know I have um, like uh, uninstalled all my origin and all that and all the games off there and I've actually reinstalled using my discs but I don't I only have the expansion packs I don't have the stuff packs so I need to purchase those that's going to be something I need to purchase hopefully soon I don't know if I am oh here I'm trying to I was trying to make like a day bed thing I don't know if it works I think I end up changing it and just having it as a double bed yeah, I was trying to make like a little day bed. You'll see me messing around with it. Um, this is like the teen girls room. I thought it was really cool, but I don't know. It wasn't really working out for me. So I ended up just putting like the pillows on the bed like that. Really nice. And um, this is actually like a really nice teen girl bedroom. I normally go for pink all the time. I mean, there is pink in this room, but I normally go for pink all the time. So I thought, no, this time I'm going for like a mint greeny, bluey kind of color. Um, but it's like, it still is a teen girl room. And I think it's really nice, it's really sweet, it's really cute. And I tried to put like a lot of photos and stuff on the wall, like this heart thing. Um, and I thought it looked really, really cool. And just tried to make it a bit more personalized for whoever lives in this house. Um, yeah, and I really liked it. I wanted to put a desk there. I thought it'd be a perfect place for a desk, but the desks were too big. So um, I put this chest of drawers with the like horseshoe uh, handles and I thought she could be a horse girl. <laughs> But the only thing that literally indicates she could be a horse girl is those thingy handles but never mind um obviously got to put the radiator in there oh i remembered i put a remote control on the bedside table of 
this bedroom so I thought oh, I'm gonna have to put a tv in the room because otherwise it's just a random um control but then um yeah I do put a tv but it's kind of above the mirror <laughs> don't know if it looked a bit weird but never mind that's where it's staying and then yeah just love all this stuff to make it look like the girl has you know bought some lights and wrapped it around a bed frame or bought these pictures and just stuck them on a wall randomly um hung all that stuff and st stuck stickers on the mirror I, I really really love it and I didn't want it to look too messy in here but I wanted it to look um not like a show home bedroom because you know teen rooms and kids rooms they're not going to be perfect um maybe the mum or the dad of this house like just likes to keep their rooms clean <laughs> so that's why well the, the kids room is a bit more tidier looking than the teen room but as I said like there's not really much in the game or that I've got um for kids rooms so that's definitely something I need to like download like some cc you need to get and mods and that oh i love this um nursery it's really cool it's like a black theme but it's for a girl so it's like black and pink really really love it um very 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 different to what i normally do um once again but i just wanted to be different wanted to be modern uh, i wanted to be realistic and this is actually a um, was inspired by another picture on Pinterest which was like a black and white baby's room but then I added a pop of pink just because um, the playroom downstairs was like lilac and purple and that so I thought I'd make the bedroom pink because it's going to be the playroom really for the girl because it's very very girly I um, mean the boy can go in and play on stuff as well but it's it's pretty much lilac <laughs> so let's just say it's for this girl and maybe the teen could go and hang out in there because there is like a swinging chair in there she could go and sit and read and stuff um if she really wanted to but i think there's is there a swinging chair yeah i'm sure there's a swinging chair and there's also a uh what you call it a beanbag a beanbag chair but yeah love this had to use this little unicorn because i just thought it went nicely and then i tried to make the pink match the um the unicorn picture and yeah i like to make the colors match at least oh this chair as well this is a cc chair and i thought it was, would go perfect in the teens room i really really like that um and i don't know how much is left of the video i'm sure there's like screenshots very very soon there is many many screenshots oh no i need to do the garden i forgot about that there are many many screenshots though um towards the end of the video um and i tried to take some like in the dark as well as like in the daylight to show you all the lights that are placed around i need to stop moving in this chair i don't know if you can even hear it but it keeps clicking really loud and it's kind of annoying me now so i'm gonna just try and sit still in the chair i'm always swinging around or i'm like putting my legs up and pushing my chair back that's why it's clicking um oh yeah i forgot to do this little hallway as well um I just tried to match it a bit to the hallway downstairs but yeah, nothing interesting. A bit boring actually. Very boring actually. Just a plant, a rug, and a mirror <laughs> was placed in there. Ah, now onto the garden. Really like this garden. It is really, really nice. Um, it's family friendly, but it's also quite modern, and I like it. And it's like black and white basically. Um, and I did something that I've never done before, like put some actual garden furniture, like garden seating outside. Never ever done that in a house before. I don't know why. I always thought like that's not what people do but it is like I've got garden furniture my mum and dad has got garden furniture like I know so many people with garden furniture so yeah some little seating areas out here and uh, a swing and a barbecue and you know all the stuff you normally have in a uh, garden I suppose oh and a sprinkler because why not kids will like to run around on that I didn't want to put too many like kids things and toys in the back garden because you know not everyone's garden's full of like kids stuff but um yeah here's the garden furniture and oh i also put like a little glass table because um i actually own a glass table for the garden that goes in my furniture as well and i don't know i thought it looked really cool um you'd think you wouldn't want to put glass outside but well the dining table that's outside's glass as well so yeah it's a thing it's fine um Oh, and we're on to the screenshots. Look at that. So I'm going to go. I'm going to leave you with these screenshots. Um, I hope you enjoyed this um, build. Um, sorry, my voiceover was all over the place as usual. Like, that's just me. I'm just scatterbrain. Just scatterbrain. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. 
this build download is in the description thank you so so much for watching please like if you like comment what you think and subscribe if you'd like to see more love you bye Thank you.